Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, The Silver Crown. I hope you've been enjoying your summer this far. And I know it's been uh, several days, several days, since I did a video about hair. I've been very, very busy trying to transition uh, a, a, a prospective tenant into our condo and then our refrigerator went out on an RV and you see that on the other channel. But anyway, been really, really busy. And I'm on my way out now, but I wanted to stop and uh, give you just another quick tip about a summer hairdo that you can do. You can actually do it anytime, but it's very quick. It's very easy. All you need is your trusty misting bottle with water in it. You could put a little conditioner in it if you want to, leave-in conditioner if you want to. But uh, when I'm in a hurry, I just, I don't have always, I don't always have the time to do the band two knots and, you know, like you've seen in some of my other videos, I just have to hit it and quit it. I just have to get it done and get out the door. So I wanted to show you what I did today. I had my hair up in a ball when I went to sleep last night. So today I took it out and I just spritzed it. And uh, like I advised you before, when you spritz your hair, to uh, moisturize it. Remember, moisture does not come from oil. It comes from H2O, from water. So when you spritz your hair to moisturize it, let it sit there for a minute to give it time to soak into your hair shaft. Otherwise, it's just going to lay on top and you'll, you know, as you're uh, manipulating your hair, you're just going to, you know, rub it all away. So, and especially if you use butters and oils and stuff like I do. So you're going to spritz your hair, let it sit there for a minute, kind of massage it in. And then what I did this morning was I just took, I sectioned my hair into three sections. I put one part here that goes all the way down to the ear, behind my ear. And then I split that in half and I did two flat twists. One on this side, as you can see, and one on this side that goes all the way back. I used, uh, after I finished one of the flat twists, I just put a bobby pin on the end to keep it from untwisting because my hair is still transitioning. So my ends are straight and the rest of it is natural. So I put uh, this bobby pin on the ends of each flat twist to hold it in place while I detangled the back of it and gave it a good combing. And then I just pulled it all back and I used a satin covered tie, hair tie. Now let me see if I can um, get this out the way. give you a little bit of a view of what the back looks like. So, there you go. Very simple, it's, I'm not crazy about this green, but it's the only one I could find right now. And, uh, <clears throat> and it's covered in silk or satin, something like that. Be careful when you're using ties on your hair that uh, if they are elastic, that they're covered in some kind of a very soft fabric, not cotton, because cotton will wick the moisture out of your hair, okay? So I just made one part here, one part here, two flat twists, and a bun in the back. And what I did in the back was I just took and twisted it like a big band two knot, and I put this um, satin tie on the back. That was it, ready to go. So I just wanted to give you that quick tip. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please leave your comments below in the comment section. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share it with your friends. Everybody's looking for a quick thing to do when you have natural hair that's untreated or unprocessed It takes a lot more time to do it's very thick or my hair is very thick because of the supplements and things that I have been taking but it's very thick now and um, The big chop is coming in the next few months, so you'll have to stay tuned for that one But anyhow, I hope you are enjoying your day. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Bye. Bye